Hey everybody, my name is Ali and I will be your Legree trainer for this 25 minute arms and abs focus class. Yeah, so lots of kneeling, lots of sitting. We're just focusing on the abs, upper body. We're gonna start with some planks though. And this is Kat, she's gonna be my model today. And we're gonna get right into it. So go ahead and cue the video, Darwin. We're gonna get into a catfish. So you're in one light spring. Hands are on the handlebars. You're on your tippy toes. And let's get right into it. So the hips don't drop here. So Kat, make sure those hips stay nice and high. So that's perfect right here. And then as you take it out, keep those hips right at that level. So you might not be able to take the feet as far back. Good, stop right there and then come in. Perfect, good cat. So make sure you're breathing, yeah? Inhale as the legs go back. Exhale as the legs come forward. And we're at the front here. So you're supported with the springs. So I want you to put your mind to muscle. This is a lower ab exercise. Also upper body because we're pushing up onto the handles, slight bend in the elbows, so triceps are activated, and breathing, yeah? So inhale as the legs go back, exhale as they come forward, and the heels do not drop at all. As you can see, Kat's heels are nice and high. Perfect, we're gonna add a push-up next. So if that's in your wheelhouse, go ahead and add a push-up every time the toes go back in three, two, one. So we're still in this catfish. If you can add the push up as the toes go back, go ahead. If you can't, that's totally okay. Work cat. That was beautiful. And same thing here. So people tend to think, oh, push up. Bah. No, you need to keep the push up nice and slow. This is still a Greek class. So you want to come down slow, take it up slow. And we'll work on that range of motion as we go. So I know it's harder to hit that full range of motion push up when it's slow. So if your elbows are just bending a little bit and you're extending, totally fine. We'll work on the range of motion. You only have 12 seconds left here. We're going to get into a wheelbarrow cat. So we're going to drop the knees down to where the toes are in seven seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Wheelbarrow right here. So hands will be on the front platform. Knees will be right by the strap where your toes just were. And we're staying in this flat tabletop. So drop your hips just a little bit. Good. Squeeze your glutes. So we want to be squeezing our glutes while we do wheelbarrow. Why? Protecting the lower back. So yes, we are engaging the core, the belly button is pulling into the spine, but we're also squeezing the glutes and squeezing the inner thighs together. So I want you to think of all of those things as you do this. So you guys can see this nice straight line here. Good, so breathe, yeah? Inhale as you take it back. Exhale as you bring it forward, yeah? So important to breathe. You might not just do one round of breath, right? It might not be fully inhaling as you take it back. Exhale as you bring it forward. If you have two rounds of breath as you go back, it's totally cool. Good. We have a cobra coming up next. So walk your hands to the front of the platform in three, two, and one. So walk your hands a little bit further in front so that you can lower your elbows down as you take it back. And if you need to modify, you can just stay in that standard wheelbarrow, okay? This is our arm and abs class. So we're hitting the abs as well as the arms, but this is getting it started with a little tricep activation here. And your elbows can drop all the way down or not. If you want to hover them a little bit at the bottom, that'll be a little bit more of a challenge. You have about 20 seconds left. So inhale as you take it down. Exhale as you take it up. Up next, we have planked pike. So we're going to hit that high plank in eight seconds, cat. High plank coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So take it up to your high plank. We have plank to pike here. You could take a little breath, cat. So 
We are transitioning, and now we are in it to win it. Good. So starting in that high plank, exhale, heels stay high, yeah? So heels stay high, and as you drop, squeeze the glutes, and then exhale, take it up, keep the heels nice and high. Some people have a tendency to drop the heels as you take it up. Good. If you need to take a little rest, that is totally okay. We are going to get into upper body next. So this is your last, last move for the abs. Good. Making sure we're using the belly button to pike it up. <sighs> Exhale. Breathe. Good. You have 13 seconds. You got it. If you need to take a break, it's totally cool. We're going to add springs here. So give me four light springs for your kneeling lat pull down in three, two, and one. Good. So I'm going to change your springs for you and tuck your knees behind the strap here. And you're going to grab on to the back bars here. So is that a good spring load? Do you want it lighter or is that good? Okay. So we have kneeling lat pull down, you guys. So we are facing the back. Hands are on the handlebars. And we are pulling, squeezing the lats at the back. So as you bring your head, neck, and shoulders closer to the back platform, we're keeping it level. We're really feeling the lats here. I love this move. It's one of my favorites. Good, so I want you to breathe, yeah? Exhale as you pull yourself in. Inhale as you take it back. Next we have kneeling bicep pull down. So we're actually gonna grab on to the back platform. If you have those bars, I want you to grab onto those. So they should be located down here. And the palms are gonna be facing up in four, three, two, and one. Good, yeah, we're gonna grab right there and bicep pull in. So you guys can see right here, her palms are facing up and exhale as you pull yourself in, elbows stay tight to the body. So I want you to think about pulling your elbows into your hips. Yeah, so elbows are coming into the hips as you exhale and then inhale as you take it back. Good cat, don't stop breathing. So as you pull in, full exhale through the mouth. I going to keep saying it. Why am I going to keep saying it? Because it's so easy to forget to breathe. And especially in the gree, it's so important. You want to keep that oxygen flowing, flowing to your muscles. Good. We're going to grab the black handles in about 20 seconds. Stay in this. Grabbing the black handles and we're going to be facing the same direction for newspaper. So we're going to stay on our knees. You can keep the same spring load. You can increase it if you want. Anything, though, that will keep you in the exercise the whole time with correct form. In three, two, and one, we're transitioning now. So go ahead and grab the black handles. And I want you guys to cross the handles. So put the right one in your left hand and the left one in your right hand. Elbows will be glued into your sides. And you're going to exhale, open it up. Is that spring low good? Okay, perfect. And breathing. Inhale as those fists come in. Exhale as you take it out. Good. So let's cut to this camera over here. You guys can see. <laughs> Sorry, that was horrible timing on my part. So you guys can see her elbows are glued to her sides. And then as you close, you want your forearms to stop when they're parallel to each other. So right there, and then we open it back out from there. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, Darvin. So this is the holy trinity, right? We got newspaper, then we're gonna go into sexy back, and then we're gonna go into chest opener, right? Like, it's the holy trinity. We have to do all of them if we're gonna do one of them. We have sexy back coming up right here. We're transitioning. So you can uncross the cables. If you guys want more of a challenge, you can keep the cables crossed, but we're gonna uncross them. So hinging forward right where you are, sexy back. So perfect, cat, nice, beautiful. So I always say, 
The reason it's called sexy back and not sexy tricep is that your elbows are up the entire time and your upper back is squeezing together. So we don't lose that connection. So as you bend the elbows, they're not dropping down. So you're keeping the upper back engaged. Also, obviously working the triceps. It's just a whole lot of goodness happening right here. Good, exhale as you extend, inhale as you bend. Chest opener is coming up in 12 seconds. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so you can stay right there. So start with your hands at your side and then exhale and press it back just a few inches and then stop with your hands at your side. Perfect, cat, yes. Okay, so with any move with the black cables, the closer you are to the cable on your carriage, the, li the less words, the less the resistance will be, meaning it'll be lighter if you're closer to where the cables are, yeah? If you want it to be heavier, you go ahead and scoot closer to the front of the machine. So this is a modification that you can do instead of changing your springs that will save you so much time, right? So especially in these workouts where we're timed and we're very exact, if you feel like, oh, this is too light or this is too heavy. I would rather you try scooting forward or back than, you know, dropping the handles, changing the springs, picking them back up. Like, it's a waste of time. Good. We have kneeling tricep extension. Turning around to the other side in three, two, one. Good, cat. So keep the handles. Just turn around. I'll hold the handles for you. Turn around, and we have tricep extension now. Good, so let me know if that spring load is good. Do you need it lighter or is that good? Perfect. So, Kat's a, a beast, as you guys can see. So her elbows are staying framing her head. So we're not letting the elbows wing out as the elbows bend. And also, I don't want them to move in front of your face. Okay, I want you to keep that straight line from your shoulder to your elbow to the sky. So inhale as you bend the elbows and exhale as you extend it up. Feel those triceps. The avatar, his shoulders are like really far up and I would rather you keep your neck nice and long. I'll let him know that he needs to fix his form. Okay, next we have kneeling shoulder press in three two and one good so we're here kneeling shoulder press perfect and you could be a little bit hinged forward for this move just making sure the core is engaged and also another modification you can do if you want to make the resistance a little bit more you could lift your butt up from your heels um but keeping your butt on your heels is perfectly fine. That'll make it a little bit uh, less resistant. Anything that will keep you in the move the whole time, going the right tempo and with the correct form. Is all those things are key. Good, we have 15 seconds. We're gonna get into some oblique work because this is abs and arms. We're gonna hit the obliques with a scrambled egg, right side in three, two, and one. Good, so turn around and we're going to actually switch the springs to one or two light springs, you guys. So one or two light springs. Um, one. Put that foot strap on your right foot and get into it. So your hands are down in front of you. The left knee is on the left side of the white line and we are facing the back. Good. So as she brings her foot to the side, she puts even more weight into the right hand because with all that weight to the side, you're wanting to tend to dip into your left hip and that's defeating the whole purpose of scrambled eggs, yeah? 
The purpose of scrambled eggs is when your foot comes to the side, your abs are stabilizing you to prevent you from dipping into that opposite hip. So you guys keep that in mind. You want to put more weight into the hand of the leg that's moving as it moves to the side. We have kneeling torso twist. You're gonna grab the other cable in three, two, one, good. So for the right side kneeling torso twist, unfortunately you have to pick up the other cable and we are going to twist this way, yes. So this might feel a little light, but it's okay. If you guys need to add a spring, you could do it. Or scoot closer to the front. That'll make it more resistant. And we start with our hands in the center of our chest, our sternum, and then as you exhale, you turn, keeping the hips in line. So Kat's doing a really good job of making sure that her hips are staying square. This hip doesn't move forward at all. And that's what's gonna get that right oblique working. Good, so you guys can see here, her hip is staying still in the exact same place it was when she started. Good, so we have 12 seconds. We're gonna get into scrambled eggs on the left. Coming up, so grab the other handle. No, keep the same handle in three, two, one. So we're keeping the same handle. Just put that on your left foot. And you wanna make sure the, the foot strap is around the arch of your foot. So right in the middle of your foot. Good, and then same thing here. Hips stay square, even weight in both hands the entire time. So as that left leg comes to the side, you're dipping even more weight into that left side. And I know it is uncomfortable and you're like, this is the last thing your body wants to do, but really, really help with your stabilizers, your obliques. Gonna get them fired up. And these are your only two oblique moves for this whole class. So make sure you're giving it your all. It's only two minutes each oblique. You got it. So we have kneeling torso twist on deck. You have 15 seconds left in the scrambled egg. Good job, Kat. Make sure you're breathing. And we're gonna grab the other handle. Face the right side now for torso twist in three, two, and one. Good, so let that one go. Grab the other one. So I want you to start the move at the center of your chest and then twist, or which way are we twisting? This way. And as you come back, stop right in the center of your chest right here and then exhale, twist. Yeah, good. Perfect cat. Make sure you're breathing. So inhale as you come back to the center, exhale as you twist to the side. Good. All right, we have a few moves left. You guys are almost done. You only have six and a half minutes left in your ab and oblique class. You guys can see the avatar right here. Do not turn the hips, that is key. So our torso is detached from the hips in this move. We're not moving the hips, right? Keep your headlights facing forward. You have 12 seconds and we have Reverse super crunch. So in eight seconds, your feet are going to go into the strap on your back platform, but is gonna be on the carriage. In three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and drop that. And put your butt on the carriage. Here, I'll hold this for you. And then tuck your feet into the strap. Good, and hands can be crossed in front of your chest or behind your head. Inhale and then lower and then exhale as you lift it up. Yeah, girl, good. So hands behind the head will be a little bit more of a challenge. Hands cross at the chest is a slight modification. It's still hard. You're still gonna feel that right in the abs, hitting every part of the abs here. Good cat. How are you guys doing at home? Make sure you're breathing. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you come up. Be obnoxious with your breath, okay? Good. We have <laughs> 16 seconds. And we're gonna add an oblique twist. So we have seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, cat. So now add the oblique twist. So as you come up, touch your left elbow to your right knee. Twist it out. Yep, perfect. And then take it down. And then we're going to alternate sides. So exhale, right elbow goes to the left knee. Perfect. So we got less than 40 seconds here. And then we're going to switch to a heavy spring load after this. So keep breathing, you guys. Super crunch is a, I know, I'll get you out of it, I promise. If you're still on two light springs, kudos to you because this is reverse, right? So we're pulling that spring. So it's a lot harder than if we were at the front. We have 12 seconds. We're going to get to chest press on the handlebars. So you can have, you have to have at least one red. If you want to add some light springs on top of that, you can. In three, two, and one. Nice cat. Go ahead and ride that carriage to the front, which is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I don't even like the workout. I just like riding on the carriage. No, I'm just kidding. Love the workout. So chest press right here. So her knees are down. Um, actually, close the carriage. I'm going to take one of the springs off. So we're on one red here, you guys. Perfect. If you want, like I said, you can add a couple more light springs. So you guys see the lower half of her body is staying perfectly still. She's just bending and extending through the elbows. And when you bring your head, neck, and shoulders through the bars, we're not lifting up, okay? We're keeping that same level here. Belly buttons into the spine, glutes are squeezing, inner thighs are squeezing. Inhale as you bend. Exhale as you extend. You guys got this. We're getting into mega catfish next. So your feet are going to tuck into the eyelets. If you can't do mega catfish, you can do icebreaker. Keep those knees down. Yeah. In three, two, and one. Cat, it's totally up to you what you want to do. If you want to lift those or put your feet in here. Yeah. In the eyelets closer to you. And then lift it up. Bend the knees. Good. So, yeah, you could stay down. Totally cool. Just stay out in that isometric hold with your arms and then the knees, the legs just extend and bend. So now bend the knees, go right under the hips. Perfect. And then back out. So you guys can see on the avatar for the mega catfish, the hips are lifted up. And same thing with a regular catfish. You are staying in that tabletop back. So we're an icebreaker here. It is a modification. Because if you're a beginner or even if you're intermediate and you started with the beginning workouts and you're moving on, you still want to get those modifications so that you can stay in it. So next we have flying push-ups. So now you can get back into a chest press cat. If your knees are up, you guys, we are in a flying push-up. So you're staying in that flat position and you're just bending and extending through the elbows. Good, so just get back into that chest press. This is your modification right here. And we are ending with a plank one, so just a regular plank right here in three, two, and one. Great, so hands or forearms are gonna be down on the platform. And just walk your feet all the way to the back of the carriage. You don't have to open it since we're on that heavy spring load. Good, so this is the last thing, you guys. If you need to drop your knees or um, drop your forearms down, totally cool. This is up to you. Good. Drop your hips a little bit, cat. You're almost there. And if you decide halfway through that you need to drop your knees, I'm okay with that. I'm so nice. Like, I'm just, I know that you guys are pushing yourselves to your limit. And I know that you're listening to your body. Yeah, that's the most important thing. So you have 20 seconds left for class. You're almost done. This is your last thing. You got it. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. This was a 25-minute arm and ab workout. You crushed it. You have 10 seconds. Woo, we're almost there. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stretch it out. Hit a child's pose. You guys, that was awesome. 
Thank you, Kat. You killed it. This is Kat, you guys. I'm Ali. I will be seeing you in more videos on demand, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.